Now, while David Cameron says he's battling for Britain in Brussels, trying to return with a reform package he can put to the British people in a referendum in June, back here in the North East, it seems like the in-out campaigning is already well underway. The NECC says figures from its latest survey show the majority of local businesses want to stay in the European Union. We put the numbers to two of our region's MEPs to see if they're in or out. Andy Sixsmith has the details. Crunch time for the country, a huge day for the UK's EU future. Prime Minister David Cameron is currently in Brussels hoping to agree a deal on changes that will lead to the UK's in-out referendum. But while the UK's future membership may be unclear, back here in the North East, the desire from regional businesses to remain in the EU appears more straightforward. That's according to a new North East Chamber of Commerce survey released on Thursday. 63% of businesses said they plan on voting to remain, a figure slightly up on September's stats, resulting in 29.3% wanting to leave and 7.6% declining a decision just yet. They're big results, but not in the eyes of UKIP MEP for the North East, Jonathan Arnott. Well, this is a survey, it's not a poll. You know, the, the North East Chamber of Commerce, which is a pro-EU organisation, has asked its members what they think about the EU. And surprise, surprise, uh, a lot of the pro-EU organisation's members are also pro-EU. Um, but, you know, what we haven't seen very often is a proper, genuine poll of business, uh, either in the North East or across the country. And when that has been attempted in the past, it's always been focusing on the big businesses. And one of the big problems with Brussels is that, of course, it focuses so much on big business. There's so many lobbyists there. There are 30,000 lobbyists out in Brussels. That's more than there are even in Washington, D.C. So, of course, big business loves more and more and more of EU legislation because it hurts the little guys. The small and medium-sized firms that are put out of business because of that legislation, well, they've not got anyone to speak up for them half the time. That's what we're trying to do. And we're trying to say there is a bigger picture out there and there is a very good reason to leave the European Union. And from a North East perspective, you therefore don't believe that this survey today of business is reflective of the everyday person's belief on whether or not to stay in the EU? Absolutely not. And I'm not even convinced that it's reflective of business belief. It's not a proper poll. It's a self-selecting uh, small survey of businesses which happen to be members of the pro-EU Chamber of Commerce. So, uh, so I'd love to see what a proper poll actually did say, particularly if it asks the small businesses that are being put out of business by unnecessary EU red tape and bureaucracy.